We know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beef, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing a waste, nothing a dash wet. Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Chef Agent Morris again, man, presenting to you my cow foot recipe. Yeah, man, I eat. If you want to learn how to make this cow foot recipe, subscribe now and stay tuned and forward in the kitchen. So right here I have my mixed blend. Next up I add two stalks of thyme, fresh thyme, and of course pimento. Now you realize that I use pimento in a lot of my dishes, especially if there are meats that take over an hour to cook. This helps to tenderize it. Here I add my all-purpose seasoning. Then I'm gonna add beef base black pepper just a sprinkle next up I'm gonna add my soya sauce then comes the oyster sauce then we're just gonna massage this all in to incorporate all those flavors now I'm gonna bag and put this to marinate for about four days. If you wanna cook it the next day, you can go ahead and do that, but the longer it marinates, the better the meat gets. Now, as I said, my cow foot was marinating for four days, and now it's time to cook it. And this is what it looks like. So here you can see where I added the water directly to the bag to get that extra seasoning out. This is about three cups. We want to bring this up to a boil and reduce our flame to medium low for an hour. After an hour, this is what it looks like. Most of the water reduced, so therefore we're going to add some more water to this. We're going to allow this to cook for an additional hour on the same low heat, medium low. Now I'm going to add my butter bean, my onions, my bell peppers which are multicolored my tomatoes and note carefully while you're cooking this cow foot you need to stir every so often to prevent sticking gonna add those straight in bring some color to it some light you know so at this point now I'm just gonna add a three quarter cup of water still single food Juice. In here I have a teaspoon of um, oyster sauce, soya sauce, a tablespoon of two tablespoon of ketchup, and a little bit of water. And I mix that up. What this will do is add a bit of color to this. Just a small amount, and also flavor. Got a taste. Beautiful. Just gonna add a drop of browning or call it caramel. Just a drop. So right there, just just a drop by right that. All of those colors coming together. What a nice flavor. Smells marvelous. No for a showstopper. Can't go without this. Just cut up in my freezer. Just a little bit like that. Scotch on the pepper. And it's lit. Bring this up to a boil, then reduce your heat onto medium low for about 20 minutes and let this simmer until thickened and ready. Give you a closer look at what goodness looks like. And of course, we have some rice and peas in the back. If you want to learn how to make this rice and peas recipe, however, this one is a bit whiter. 
because I use the candy keys, the one that's in my arm, um, that's on the YouTube channel, has the graphics made from scratch. Awesome. Oh, yeah, boy. It doesn't get any simpler than this, any better than this, or any nicer than this. Look at that. After two and a half hours. That's the finished product. You know your meat is ready when it's easily pierced and falling from the bone. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Leave all your comments below if this is how you cook your cow food. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and share to your friends and family. The food sponsor good just to check if you're making after cow's food. As said before, it was a bit late so the video quality wasn't the best. However, we have some pictures to show you. Come on, knights! Got him on kitchen, yeah?